Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Platoon, and in this video, we'll learn how to implement game objects, and we'll learn how to imp we'll learn a bit more about the Unity game engine. So let's get started. If you watched my previous Unity video, you'll know that every single object has an inspector. Let's start by learning what the inspector does. The inspector tells the game where the elements of the game object of the object that we're looking at. If I were to go to the hierarchy, right click, create empty, this creates a new game object. At the game object, you notice this element here called transform pops up. The transform tells the game where the position, the rotation, and the scale of the object is. If I were to move the position, the game object will move horizontally. If I were to move the Y position, it will move vertically. If I were to move the Z, well, nothing really happens because, we're, because this game is two-dimensional. But the Z is meant for three-dimensional. The rotation rotates the object. You won't see it rotate now because there's no picture. But if I put a picture here and wrote as a game object and rotated it, It'll ro it will rotate in, every, in the x, y, and z, just like in the position. Though instead, it will rotate. The scale here determines how hot, big the object is. The x scale will, will, scale the, will scale the player or the game object horizontally. The y will scale it vertically. The z, well, it won't do anything because we're talking in 2D. If you want to reset all these positions to zero, you can easily right click and reset. But for now, I'll leave the inspector as it is. But there's so much more the inspector can do. But for now, let's move on to the hierarchy. Now, let's take a look at the hierarchy. The hierarchy shows every, every game object in your game is displayed. Right now, there are two things in the, in the hierarchy, the main camera and the game object. If I were to click on either of these, the elements of this game object will be shown on the inspector. Next, let's look at the projects tab. The projects tab shows where all your assets are stored. For example, I have downloaded this Pikachu. If I drag this Pikachu into the assets right here, you'll see that this Pikachu pops up right here. From here, I can drag it into the scene. And it makes sure it's under the camera and this box right here so the camera can catch it. The camera basically displays uh, everything that's inside this little rectangle box. But now if I click play, this button right here, you'll see that this Pikachu pops up right here. Just like I said, we can move the position of the Pikachu, the Y position. We can also rotate it. Let's do it here. And we can move and we can scale it. Now I told you at the beginning of the video we'll learn how to implement game objects into a game. But if you look right here, we already, we already had two game objects. This empty game object and this Pikachu. Or big Pikachu. I'm just gonna reset this transform by right clicking and clicking reset. So if I want to put something into a game or put like a picture into a game, I can easily just find the picture I want to put in. Drag it into the scene or that projects part first. And I can drag this Charmander into the game. 
and I look here, this Charmander pops up. That's pretty cool. If I want to create an empty uh, game object, just like I said, I can easily right click and choose create empty. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you can, will not miss my next videos. See you. Bye.